Hey kittens, it's PC Purse, and I'm back for another dancer review episode where a dancer is going to review a show or movie or music video, whatever, that has something to do with pole. So we're talking more than just story. We're talking about how we're seeing pole being represented in it. So today we're back for another episode of Jocelyn's Cabaret, uh, Las Vegas. So this is season three and episode two. So we pick up this episode from the fight from last episode and the fight is really bad. It's between Amber and Wet Wet and Amber is fighting Wet Wet because the girl was running around singing. So it made no sense and she beat her real bad. The girl was bleeding at her mouth. They had to pull them apart. And one thing about security, security comes but they come real slow and they let them fight and it feels like they want to capture some of that for a moment. But this fight was really bad and it, it doesn't feel organic it doesn't feel like it's a real fight it came out of nowhere because it wasn't about anything you can't fight someone for wanting to sing like for wanting to sing it just felt like she wanted a moment and then kept accusing everybody else of wanting a moment and i think what was really going on was the girl was getting attention for acting silly whatever and she felt some type of way because the attention wasn't on her and then she started making a scene and it's just too much like, calm down. So security separates the two girls, and Chanel and a couple of the other girls go off with Amber, and then Lexi Blow is still in the room with some of the other girls. And Lexi Blow is drunk, and she's not really being helpful. She's telling the girls not to drink anymore, that she can handle more shots, but they can't, and they need to calm down. But I feel like she should have had Chanel. Um, yeah, she should have had Chanel's back a little bit more. So then Chanel is in the dressing room with, I think it's the dressing room, with Amber and a couple of other girls, the hair and makeup team, trying to calm her down. And she's just having an absolute breakdown, like throwing a complete fit. And then she asks for a tissue because she says her vagina is wet. What is that? I'm like, did she get so excited from throwing this tantrum that she got aroused? Like what? What was that about? Just an absolute mess. And it was disgusting. Like, what, what is going on with you? Even the hair and makeup team was looking at her like... And Chanel's just like... You know Chanel is very non-confrontational. She can't handle it. She's trying to de-escalate things, but she's just like... <sighs> it was stressing her. Chanel winds up leaving Amber, and she calls Jocelyn to give her an update and tell her what's going on. She lets her know that... Uh, Amber is just fighting, being crazy, and Jocelyn tells her, like, you're supposed to be handling this, and that she doesn't like the way that she handles things, her and Lexi, from the reunion, because she felt like they should have, they should have stood up for her. That, I don't, I don't know about that, but everything else Jocelyn does in this episode, I agree with, but that statement, I don't know, but she tells Chanel to handle it. And to me, Chanel should have asked her if she could just kick her out because she was just doing too much. I would have been like, listen, I know it's your show, but she's doing a lot. I want to tell her to leave or she could just get lost till you get here because all that that she was doing was just far too much for no reason. But she gets off the phone with her and then um, she goes to talk to all of the girls. And when she has all the girls together, she's telling them, y'all can't be running around acting like an ass. Like, y'all have to be calm. And then Amber shouted from the back, who's acting like that? And she gets offended. And Chanel is trying to de-escalate it again. And she's saying, I'm talking to everybody. Everybody's acting up. Like she's addressing them as a group. Which, I know she's, she's not going to come at you. But she should have said, you are acting an ass. And that's why I had to talk to you in the back. All y'all need to calm down because Jocelyn's not with this. And I feel like, again, Lexi should have had her back. They're the two from last season. And you know Chanel is a little meeker. And I feel like if the two of them presented more of a united front, they would get a little bit more respect. But I feel like maybe Lexi doesn't really mess with Chanel like that. I don't know. That's just the vibe I get. But so now Amber is yelling at Chanel, she flashes her again. She's doing too much, and I'm like, somebody should kick this girl out. Somebody should kick her out, and they don't. So she keeps acting up. And even though Lexi Blow didn't have Chanel's back in the moment, in her confessional, she's saying she's she's basically backing up everything that Chanel was saying. Like you were acting ass. I'm like, why didn't she say this in the moment? Finally, Jocelyn gets there. First thing she does, you get out. 
just kicks her out. And the girl's like, who me? Yes, you. You know you. Get out. What are you doing? And then she goes to each one of them. You try me, you try me, you try me, you try me. I'm punch you in the face. And it was so funny. <laughs> because I'm like, Jocelyn is over the top. And she does that for dramatic effect. And the tall girl was laughing at her. And you know sometimes Jocelyn, when she really feels this is disrespected she'll like say something and go crazy and she just let the girl laugh and she kept going and um and so then uh amber is outside mad jocelyn sends chanel outside to go talk to her she's mad at chanel for letting the girl talk to her like that she tells her go handle something so she tells her to get her and tell her to come back in and have a conversation and now all of a sudden amber can't do this amber can't take that nobody talks to her like that not even her mother and it's like but it was fine for you to talk to this girl any type of way and put your hands on her which she wasn't doing anything to you make it make sense so now chanel is trying to calm her down and convince her to come back inside and she doesn't want to go back inside so leave leave i do like this girl is a lot of mouth and i don't understand why all these girls didn't check her <sighs> inside jocelyn is asking the girls why did any of y'all let this happen she asked lexi blow what happened with you are you scared then she asked the other girl she asked Kay capri you all tall and everything like why you didn't shut things down and k capri is like i'm not here to fight and she's like you could have told her to be quiet why didn't you tell her that and then all of a sudden all the girls had excuses as to why they didn't have to say something and i feel like the girls last season were a little bit better because i feel like last season the girls would get together and be like hey we're here for this and you're here for nonsense we don't want you here like they did with barbie but here it just feels like they're all trying to get a moment and they're all trying to throw each other under the bus and they're not a united front and i'll, I'll be with jocelyn on that they all should have shut that down like why are you picking on this girl for no reason? She's annoying, but it doesn't have anything to do with you. Like Lexi Blow said, she didn't even notice the girl was in the room because she wasn't focused on her. So why are you so pressed about it? They should have kicked her out of there. Then Gaia Love and Jocelyn start getting into it because Gaia's bringing up religion. And Jocelyn feels like she's being a hypocrite because she's naked and stuff like that. And calling out for religious figures. Can I say Jesus? Jesus. so <laughs> then it starts being a thing about people being singers and jocelyn gets uh wet wet raven and amber to admit that they're singers they give it a shot and jocelyn tells them all to get out because she's not looking for singers she's looking for dancers and then we have a little flip-flop segment because right after that jocelyn thinks about it changes her mind uh with gaia because Jesus was there with like prostitutes and thieves and bandits and whatever. And so she's going to allow her to keep religion with her, especially since Jocelyn says she grew up in the church. Okay, that's fine. But she told her no politics and things like that. Just only she's allowed to talk religion because she feels like she wants to spread the word. So she's like, all right, go ahead, just you. The other two girls, other three girls she tells uh, can stay. So that's Amber wet wet and raven but if they don't want to be there to dance if they really want to sing that they should leave because the spot can go to somebody else that really does want to dance and they need to figure it out but she tells them that they can come back that was disappointing i feel like she could have brought all the other girls back but amber is the problem and she needs to leave and this is how you know they want somebody to just have a moment on television but i really feel like you can't just give everybody a moment because you can't have people fighting just to be fighting. Reality TV, I'll give a pass if fights happen organically because that's real life, right? Some people get into fights, whatever. But just pick a fight and just start something for no reason just because you want attention. Any type of attention to me is corny and it's whack. Once all that is done, they get back on the bus and they head back. Jocelyn is in the house talking to Princess, telling her that she wants her to meet the girls and just... Feel them out. So Jocelyn finally lets the girls in the house. <laughs> and Princess meets them. And Kay Capri is kind of seeming like she's annoying Princess a little bit. And then she's saying that she feels uncomfortable by Lexi Blow. And I'm, unless they left some footage out, I didn't see Lexi really talking to her like that. So I don't know where that came from. But then she seemed like she was kind of rubbing Princess the wrong way. And Princess was like, all right. I'm out. See y'all later. So Jocelyn is left there with the girls and she starts asking the girls, hey, if somebody had to go home, who should it be? And Lollipop says Amber, which 
Yes, common sense. And then Amber gets mad at Lollipop for saying that. And Lollipop is saying, just because I said that doesn't mean I'm not your friend. But, and I'm guessing she was going to say causing commotion or whatever. But Amber gets mad. And then we find out that she and Lollipop talked about fighting somebody, I guess, to have a moment. But Lollipop is saying they agreed on that, but not to just fight for no reason. Just, you know, if something came up that they would. So then Amber's trying to throw her under the bus with something that made no sense, really, saying that they were supposed to go check out the, the Vegas Strip and the girl stood her up so she could go on a date and, you know, get some. And it's like, you're a hater. And then <laughs> Amber is saying, well, you're broke and you're going to hang out with guys and, and like, still coming home with it without anything. And I will say, I think that if you are broke and you are in a relationship with somebody who doesn't have your best interest at heart, that it's not going to say, hey, I'm dating somebody that's broke and like, that's not okay. You should eat or you should be able to support yourself. Somebody that's wanting to help you in that you're in that state. I think your priorities are wrong, but that's just me. And that I'll give Amber a point. The way she delivered it was a bit extreme. The gist of what she's saying, I agree with, but even still, that has nothing to do with anything. You're just a trouble starter and you need to go home. Then this turned into like the Amber segment, which was hella annoying to me because I'm over her. Then she just starts picking at everybody. She's fussing at Lexi Blow for laughing that they had to stay outside and couldn't come in the house. That shit is hella funny. It's hella funny. Y'all are outside stuck on a bus for how long? I think they had to sleep on the bus or something like that, it seems like. It's funny. Get over it. That's nothing. To just too much mouth. And after that, it just seemed like everybody wanted to throw each other under the bus. This one said that, this one said that. Then they started going on Gaia and saying that she was talking a bunch of stuff about Jocelyn. And she was talking a bunch of stuff when she was mad, but it was just a lot. And then it seemed like they jumped her. Y'all could jump her, but y'all couldn't jump Amber for... <sighs> I'm annoyed. This episode was disappointing because, once again, there was no dancing. I wish there was some dancing. But instead, we're going to do part two of posing on a poll. Last week, we did sexy poses on the poll. This one, we're going to do more like beginner poll moves. So if you've taken a few classes and can do a few things, this one is going to be the one for you. Still very easy, very beginner friendly. Um, yeah, let's try it out. Beginner poses on the poll. So from a climb, I'm going to come into an elbow brace. Then I'll hook my other arm, kick my legs back, and then from there I can play with my legs and my gaze. Also from a climb, I'm going to come up, come into an inner thigh sit, walk my arms down. When I feel comfortable, I'll bring one hand under my butt, thumb up, and open my legs up into a straddle. I can also, from that inner thigh sit, keep one leg up, the other one down, keep my hips up, and arch. I'm going to climb, then I'm going to lean from one side or the other. That's cute. You can also weave your torso around and come into a sit, and from there you can also play with your gaze and your arms. I'm going to hook my inner leg, cross my bottom leg, and then reach away. From a side climb, I'm going to bring that pole into my armpit, then once that arm is secure, I'll extend it and the other arm will reach back and I'll arch. From a push-pull grip, I can open up into a straddle. In this one, I'm climbing. I'll come into an inner thigh sit. I'll come into a layback. I'm holding onto my foot till I feel secure. And then when I am, I'll release the arms. So we're going to try these poses. You can even do it when you're in class, like when you have free time or whatever. Just set your camera down. It doesn't have to be professional photos. You can just get really nice photos for Instagram or whatever. So try it out. Tag me. I'll be back next week. Hopefully there'll be some dancing. Uh, yeah, look at my channel for some other stuff. Check me out on all my socials. And I'll see you guys next week.